Hello everyone, welcome to Matsai AC. You get questions like this in your GCSEs all the time. Sometimes it can come as a separate question or sometimes it can come as a part of a question. Post the video and do the question. When you are ready to check the answer, press play and check your answer against mine. If you got it right, no problem, just put a tick and move on. If you made a mistake, obviously post the video and write down the correct method. Give this a try now. So, to balance any chemical equation, you need to have the same number of each element on both sides. So, the number of carbons on the left hand side and right hand side should be the same. The number of hydrogens should be the same. The number of oxygens should be the same. So, that's what you mean by balancing chemical equations. Now, we have six carbon atoms here. So getting six on the right hand side is very easy because the only thing you can do here is put a six. That will make the number of carbon six and happy with carbon. Carbon is all good. And the hydrogen. On the left hand side, we have 14 hydrogen atoms. The only compound with hydrogen is water. So obviously, I need to put seven here because 7 times 2 is 14. So we have the correct number of hydrogen atoms. So carbon and hydrogen are all good. Now let's look at oxygen. Now we have to start from the right hand side because there are two compounds with oxygen. We have some oxygen here. We also have oxygen here. Now we need to find the total number of oxygens on the right hand side first. So, we have six molecules of carbon dioxide. So, how many oxygen? Six times two, 12. There. Plus, we have seven molecules of water. So, seven times one, seven. So, altogether, we have 12 add seven, 19 atoms of oxygen on the right hand side. So, how do we balance on the left hand side? Whatever the number you put here is doubled because it's O2. So what number should I really put there? We should put half of 19. So half of 19 is 9.5. If you leave it like this in a GCSE exam, you're okay. You will get marks. However, many people like to have whole numbers rather than this one. In fact, even in an exam, it's a good idea to do that. So, how do we get a whole number? The only problem here is this 0.5. So, if I can double this, there's no more 0.5. But the thing is, this is a balanced chemical equation. I cannot just double this. I have to double every other compound too. The final answer looks like this. Let's check the carbons. 2 times 6, I have 12 carbons. And here you have 12 carbons. So carbon is okay. Let's check hydrogens now. 2 times 14, we have 28 hydrogens. 14 times 2, again we have 28 hydrogens. So carbon is good. Hydrogen is also fine. Let's check the oxygens now. 19 times 2 is 38 oxygens. 12 times 2 is 24. Plus 14 times 1 is 14. 24 add 14 is also 38. And you can now clearly see you have this correct number of oxygens as well. So it's all balanced.